Okay. Uh, so we are presenting you here today in uh, the first day of Gimena Katowice, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the field of extracurricular Wikimedia organizations. They are uh, 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 the ECHOs are unaffiliated groups which uh, are acting as uh, the ambassadors of the Wikimedia movement in the universities. Uh, they are composed by students, uh, they are composed uh, by student uh, body, they head the Wikimedia activities that are being conducted by students uh, in a certain university, school, high school, uh, or uh, anything. They are covering a particular university of, or school, and uh, their purpose is uh, to promote Wikimedia movement uh, and uh, its uh, practices uh, through, uh, uh, through the main ways. Uh, their focus is to promote uh, Wikimedia and double cultural values in uh, the university or in a school. Uh, so they are applied, so they are trying to promote Wikimedia projects uh, to, uh, and in case contributing on this while also uh, bringing uh, uh, the university professors and the academic uh, authorities in contact with uh, the students uh, who had and thus uh, connecting them with the Wikimedia movement. Uh, their, uh, the governance structure is uh, usually well defined, especially in uh, uh, the most uh, active extracurricular Wikimedia organizations. So the governance structure has uh, uh, many similarities, uh, but also differences from uh, those of the affiliates. Uh, for example, they have a board of trustees, they have a board uh, that uh, handles uh, most of their uh, function, and generally they are uh, of unaffiliated groups, but uh, who focus in one uh, particular education institution, but uh, they can, but they are pretty well defined in their activities. Uh, others are uh, not supported by an affiliate, others are done, uh, are supported by an affiliate. For example, in Turkey uh, or in India, in the uh, Deoband Wiki community, uh, they, uh, uh, are, there are echoes that are being supported by the affiliates, uh, the respective affiliates. Uh, in other countries, it's uh, different. Uh, their, uh, pri their, their priority is uh, promoting Wikimedia uh, among students, uh, enhancing their contribution in Wikimedia uh, and generally bringing them in uh, touch with uh, the movement, with the people, with the people here that are uh, doing uh, uh, the, the Wikimedia movement. Uh, their uh, purpose also is to uh, make them aware of the importance of uh, Wiki projects, of uh, free knowledge and uh, all uh, related stuff, uh, uh, as well to enhance them contributing. This is a, one other priority that we have is also doing, uh, is also to allow them to uh, to connect them with their academia, which means uh, to uh, promote them with, uh, which means to promote uh, their uh, activities, uh, which means to promote their activities on uh, uh, I mean, to promote Wikimedia here as uh, a field work uh, or a, a project uh, by university. Their uh, purpose is uh, also to connect uh, Wikimedia and students in the academia, which means uh, to connect uh, the external uh, Wikimedia community in the country or in the region with uh, the university through the collaboration, the support that the affiliate uh, is uh, providing or may be not providing uh, in a university equo. Uh, or student or school echo. Uh, the students, which is to promote Wikimedia movement values in a university, to make them aware of the importance of Wikimedia and uh, learn them how to contribute uh, there. And generally, turn them to uh, Wikimedians that will be uh, in the ambassadors of the free knowledge movement and will teach uh, the next Wikimedians. Uh, the target of ECHOs is also to uh, support students who want uh, to utilize their own education program in a class, in a, a department, and they want uh, a more uh, specific uh, assistance uh, in that way. This is so that uh, to foster uh, solidarity between the students. Uh, and also we try to collaborate, and uh, many ECHOs have already done it, to promote Wikimedia projects uh, as teaching tools among professors to use Wikimedia as a, a way to promote and uh, support the various uh, students and lessons in the class, and also to use uh, Wikimedia projects and uh, uh, the related uh, projects as uh, uh, to, to write projects uh, for, the, uh, for each uh, particular university lessons. As you know, the importance of ECHOs is uh, uh, 
uh, very high. Uh, youth is a demographic uh, that has been overlooked by the movement. Uh, there is no uh, the important. Uh, there is no the tension and the uh, support that uh, is needed. Uh, that it hasn't. It hasn't been given in the extent that is needed here from the affiliates in the movement in the past. In the uh, for the youth uh, component, but we are trying to change it with uh, the equals with uh, various youth groups and the youth projects that are being. Uh, facilitated by various countries and uh, affiliates around the world. Uh, we are also collaborating, but also it's uh, known that many affiliates, many chapters, many user groups and uh, individuals are collaborating with uh, uh, university professors doing some uh, brilliant uh, projects together. However, uh, the potential of uh, building uh, complete uh, and integrated Wikimedia structures, uh, uh, hence the echoes uh, uh, by the students themselves to promote Wikimedia uh, among the student population and uh, facilitate uh, their further uh, promotion by the students themselves, say something that uh, hasn't been uh, uh, studied uh, well. Uh, in Wikimedia, peer support, uh, for example, support by people uh, of similar age is very important, or uh, similar other demographics, has been proved by our experience. So here, Equo is uh, uh, trying to take uh, the, the same up Approach in our uh, case too. As we are a student organization, we are uh, uh, we can understand uh, more than anyone else uh, what uh, the student uh, needs in order to be attracted uh, in a Wikimedia uh, to be to be a Wikimedia. Uh, so here to promote uh, uh, connection, uh, friendships, uh, dedication to Wikimedia, and uh, everything, we are uh, conducting a data thons uh, on a particular topic. Uh, for example. Uh, the Japanese and the Turkish equos, uh, uh, together the Malaysian ones, did uh, some uh, friendship uh, projects uh, about their countries. Uh, we did a uh, similar thing about our independence uh, days with Bangladesh, with uh, NDC World, where about which uh, you will can uh, learn about more about it soon. Uh, and quizzes, uh, game nights uh, with uh, various games, uh, table games, uh, board games. Uh, that everyone likes to uh, keep uh, students engaged, and we are also eager to support uh, any equos. Uh. So, uh, Ege or Rafi, who who will you to begin first? Uh, is my sound and voice coming properly right now? Uh, you, you're Ege, right? Yes, I am Ege. And uh, yes. I think I can start because, like in the slide order, it was also like that. Uh, okay, Afi, you would you like to begin first, or you can uh, allow, uh, or you can uh, give your turn to Ege. It would be really great if I speak for the next few minutes because I have to travel. Uh, oh, okay, done. You okay. Can start. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We will hear uh, Afi first because he has uh, uh, to leave in some minutes uh, for his travel and. So we have to uh, progress to pass a few. Uh, Thank you. Okay. Uh, I hope I am clearly audible to everyone. Right. Thank you. Uh, yes. So uh, my name is Afi, and I'm speaking and dialing in from New Delhi currently. Uh, I'm an alumnus of the Jamia Millia Islami University in New Delhi. It's one of the premier universities in India. And I'm the founder and I lead the Dubon Community Wikimedia User Group, which is a thematic user group and which promotes and supports the inclusion of knowledge related to global Muslim academia, history, culture, heritage, etc. on Wikimedia projects. I'm an admin on Wikimedia Commons and Urdu Wikipedia and volunteer in a different kind of voluntary roles on several Wikimedia projects. The next slide, please. Previous one, yeah. So uh, DCW or the Deoband Community Wikimedia, it was established in 2021 on 31st of July. We completed over three years, a few days earlier. And as I said, it supports and promotes the Muslim academia, history, culture and stuff on Wikimedia projects. Our initiates have included conversation hours. We have had 19th edition very recently with Runa, who's, who works with the Wikimedia Foundation. And with 
the leadership development and skills infrastructure we work with wiki clubs we help establish wiki clubs in universities particularly the minority universities and institutions in india the next one we have helped establish three wiki clubs until now as a part of our leadership and skills development program and these are the wiki club amu at the aligarh muslim university in india the wiki club jamia at my own university in new delhi and wiki club durban it's in the town of durban to support and promote wikimedia projects at the aligarh durban and another uh, islamic seminaries which are around the next one yes uh, the purpose of our wiki clubs is basically to involve and engage the student community in wikimedia projects which has had not been a very really good engagement from you know, the, the students the student community has been quite a part although they use the wikimedia projects so the purpose of wiki clubs is to engage students and particularly to innovate in the classroom um basically in the case of the assignments once we have a better understanding among the students to how they can use the wikimedia projects for their assignments and of course the scientific community and the professors and teachers who could practically use the wikimedia ecosystem to innovate in their classroom it's one of our purposes and of course to train the students to be better learners and sharers of knowledge Uh, through the wikimedia ecosystem uh, could you show your face uh, please it's uh, they asked me uh, oh sure thing. i i'll see if if it feels right have uh, had uh not a very good internet sadly so yeah uh among the activities that we have carried out uh, through our wiki clubs is uh, the training sessions uh, like the wikimedia primer which we offer through wiki club jamia we have more recently uh, incubated a new uh, idea based on the a uh, drop in and wiki idea of wikimedia australia to engage our students in very open air a discussion of random questions related to wiki and a cup of a tea uh, so that you know uh, on the break times on the lunch time students come out walk around and sit uh using mobile phones and going here and there so we we use that time to engage them we call it a mahfil mahfil wiki uh to discuss uh, and uh, to engage the students in normal and random questions uh and the conversation hours the uh, dcw has been carrying out the dcw conversation hour since like a uh, september 2022 and then we later on uh i have to turn off the yeah so we later on standardized it we include the student community to host those conversations which engage which often involve hosting uh founders of any foundations uh experts of different subjects we have had 19 additions involving students to host those conversation hours at particularly when we started the wiki club jamia we initiated the idea of 500 edit challenge it was a bit to engage uh, the researchers phd scholars uh, through the wikipedia library researchers basically need resources and it was a way to retain them in the movement so they keep on using those resources through you know writing articles and proving articles getting access to the library and we have had a number of scholars uh, and researchers who completed the edit challenge and who are using the library for sharing better knowledge and we have included you know part par partnerships and collaborations with other open initiatives such as the english researchers collective it is an open group of researchers who love and you know are fond of english literature and they support us and we support them into including uh, the researchers and students in our activities and 
the next slide, please. Uh, what next steps include the capacity development of the core organizing team of the each wiki club that we have established. And this is through uh, a lot of discussions, conversations, or uh, uh, initiatives of the DCW, such as the Heritage Lands, where we particularly in, uh, involve uh, students into photography, into Wikimedia Commons, and into another uh, more uh, nuances of Wikimedia Commons, which they can learn and explore uh, with the lens of photography and heritage and also our next steps with the wiki club the open particularly include to localize the videos from a wiki minute of the wikimedia foundation to bring in more people with a kind of uh, the stuff that they need in very less time uh, so uh, and the partnerships are also one of our next steps with particularly the darling Durban, which has had uh, currently not a very good relation with the open knowledge movement mm -hmm. and they have agreed to partner with us on through wiki club Dioband, which is uh, which was established a few which, which was established the last month and with this i uh, thank you for listening and i'm glad to hear any questions if they come later on thank you so who is uh, next again uh, yes, I think I'll go next and uh, it might be easier for me to share my own screen so I will try that and uh, if it works we can continue like that. Uh, can you all see it right now? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, no though, uh, I think the slide on the thing is not from my computer but from the system. Oh, okay, yes, now it's uh, on my computer. Okay, so uh, hello everyone. I'm really glad to be making this presentation with you and uh, I will talk about uh, two different projects actually, but like in the same uh, vein, which is like the Wikipedia project that we did for uh, one term. And then uh, we converted it into a digital citizenship course, uh, which includes Wikipedia and Wikimedia related concepts. So I will talk a little bit about the transition between them and also uh, what I aim to do in the future about it. So before that, I will introduce myself a little. Uh, I'm Ege and I wrote a bullet point list about uh, things that I have been doing. So I'm active on Wikidata and semi-active on English Wikipedia. Generally, when something piques my interest, then I want to do stuff about it. And uh, I have participated mostly in gender-related meetups and projects and uh, similar like editing efforts around that. And uh, yeah, actually, when I first started like doing Wikipedia work in a serious way, it was a podcast that we did in which we translated stuff from English to Turkish and then talked about it uh, and it was about like queer subjects and then I got into Wikidata after a conference I went to in Istanbul and was interested in it and like seems in specific but yeah in this presentation I'm going to talk mostly about the CIP course that we did which uh, I will just get into what CIP is and then uh, I will get into how Wikipedia fits into it. So CIP, Civic Involvement Projects, is a, a course in our university, Sabancı University, that every student has to take at least once. And uh, some students take it more than once because they uh, like it and they uh, like to do some different stuff because all projects have their own focus and uh like some of them are about like uh doing actual field work like going somewhere to maybe play with children from uh, middle schools or primary schools or going to retirement homes and spending time with the elderly or going to animal shelters and helping take care of animals etc and some of them are more discussion based and uh more uh, awareness raising activities like uh about gender issues or human rights issues or uh, similar stuff like that 
So after I got into Wikipedia editing a little bit, uh, I saw that it would be uh, a lot of there would be a lot of potential in doing this in a classroom context with like a volunteer but not so volunteer context because yeah every student has to take this course but uh, generally it's like volunteer related stuff that's uh, being focused on and uh, yeah when you pass the course you uh, are allowed to participate you are allowed to uh become a supervisor uh, after some testing and all that and what supervisors do is basically they uh act like teachers in the classroom they uh do the material and all that so it's not like a professor teaching us but us teaching each other as students like in my first terms i had students that were older than me and that were like uh of a uh higher class than me like class as in uh the year so yeah uh i wanted to introduce wikipedia related stuff to the cip course and i will talk a little bit about that so uh i first did like one classroom and a very small classroom to see if things would be interesting for everyone it was an online term due to uh, an earthquake that had happened in turkey uh, that, that year so we didn't really do that much stuff hands-on, but it was more like a testing the waters type of thing. So then after that, uh, we did something with uh, four classes uh, in which uh, I was like acting as the supervisor for three of them. And uh, yeah, before that I had uh, made all sorts of like curriculum type things or like syllabus type things in my head of like what topics are we going to get into and uh, what topics uh, are more left to like their volunteer efforts instead. And uh, yeah, uh, I will talk about the transition to the digital citizenship course. Uh, and yes, uh, it's not clear what I will uh, be doing in this term, but uh, maybe we can have a little chat about that with the whole group because I'm open to inspiration at this point. So I included some photos of like uh, me meeting with the supervisors uh, of the uh, projects because I wasn't the only supervisor, but I was one of the supervisors doing the Wikipedia stuff, but I was like leading the group generally. And uh, yeah, with the people in the picture, we did a lot of great things with uh, four different classrooms. And there's a picture of me helping people with technical stuff. I remember it uh, as translation, I think, that I helped them. Uh, so yeah, this is like the uh, setting in which you can imagine the rest of the uh, presentation, I guess. So yeah, with the structure of the Wikipedia projects, what we uh, did was, so we had five weeks of classes that were going to be Wikipedia oriented because some of the classes are the same for everyone in which they watch some movies about social issues and discuss over them and et cetera. And that's the same for every CIP class. But as soon as you get into more specific things, uh, yes, I started with the Wikipedia stuff and uh, the first uh, lesson we did was about, uh, so I considered to myself, what's the easiest sort of edit that someone can do on Wikipedia with very little training? And uh, I had been uh, keeping track of the orphan pages, the pages that uh, aren't uh, linked by any other page. And I said, oh, if we do it as a group effort, maybe we can reduce that number. So uh, the first uh, lesson is, uh, creating accounts, talking a little bit about Wikipedia and the project in general, and then uh, linking orphan pages. And then I, uh, in the next lesson, I delve into Wikidata and uh, also sometimes I go into Lexemes because that's a specific thing that I'm focusing on. And I think, uh, at least I feel like, uh, I know not all of you will agree with me on this, but I feel like Wikidata editing is uh, a lot easier than Wikipedia editing. Uh, so that's also why I uh, go into it a little bit. And then, yeah, with the sustainable development goal stuff, like CIP uh, is a course that also includes sustainable development goals and 
uh, awareness about them in it. So it wasn't a subject when I first started the, doing the Wikipedia things, but as uh, the more I got into the CIP project, the more I realized how much uh, overlap they actually had. And I also started communicating a little bit with the Wikimedians for Sustainable Development User Group. So uh, that was also helpful for me to explore in my mind what would be. What happened? Uh... He's coming back, he says. Okay, can you hear me? I'm really sorry about that. My computer shut down. Please confirm if you can hear me. Hey, yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. So if you could open the slides uh, on your end, I think it might be better because I'm on my phone right now. Really sorry about this. So yeah, I was at the slide that had structure of the Wikipedia project. Yes, 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 like we say a lot of here. Okay, so it's the slide before this. Yes, uh, should I go to the previous slide? Yeah, okay, this one, yes. And, okay, so I'm continuing uh, as if nothing happened. I'm really sorry about that. So, yeah, uh, uh, some of the lessons were also about exploring sister projects because uh, I didn't want to focus uh, only on Wikipedia, but on open culture overall and also like all uh, Wikimedia projects. So we also had something with uh, wiki species in which we uh, took pictures of our botanical garden, which I will show some uh, in the end of the slides. So we uh, tried to branch out as much as we could. And also we had lessons in which we talked about like open culture in general and like uh, free software and like uh, other types of like Linux and uh, all those open source projects, etc. So. It wasn't only about Wikipedia, but about open culture as a whole. Uh, so that was one term of it. And then in the next term, we started doing the digital citizenship course. And uh, you can maybe go to the next slide now. Okay, I opened the camera. Uh, okay, so uh, after the Wikipedia project, uh, like due to a variety of reasons that I'm not going to get into in detail, but you can contact me privately if you want to learn more. Uh, we converted it into a digital citizenship project in which Wikipedia and Wikimedia projects in general would be a part of it. Uh, but it would also focus on other things like uh, cyberbullying and uh, AI, uh, like chat GPT, all that stuff internet addiction or social media addiction, uh, other types of like uh, reflections on how we use the internet and how it has been a part of our life and how it has been a very crucial part of our lives in the last uh, 10, 20 years. And uh, yes, I'm still in the process of like making a, a solid uh, syllabus and uh, material around it because we only had one classroom because in spring terms CIP projects are usually a lot less uh, populated so there are a lot less projects but the following term will be a full term so there will be a lot more classrooms probably so if we continue with this project uh, we will have to have a more concrete type of thing and uh, yeah, it's also uh, kind of similar to what CIP had already been doing because 
CIP has these things in which they call some experts from the field and uh, those experts tell us about some stuff uh, and misinformation was one of them. Like uh, when we see some news on the internet, uh, do we know if we can trust it or not? And also uh, the AI thing was also part of it because someone uh, in a Zoom call explained to us uh, like the discussions that were happening in AI. And I see also in Wikimedia circles, those types of discussions are uh, being held a lot. There's a Telegram group uh, about Wikimedia and AI. And if you're interested in those sorts of things, I suggest you join that. So yeah, the digital citizenship course is going to be a lot more broad in scope. So yeah, uh, in this slide I have a what have I learned thing. And uh, some of these are going to be very obvious for some of the more experienced organizers. And I knew some of them theoretically, but like having hands-on experience and learning it practically really helped me. So uh, I will go one by one in the articles that I wrote. So working with volunteers is always easier and always produces more results. And uh, I know that like supervisors in CIP are volunteers that are doing it out of their own volition, but uh, the students in CIP, some of them are doing it only to pass the class. And uh, not, all, uh, not all of them are uh, that interested in going deep into the subjects. Like there were some students that were really interested and there were times when they asked me something about like templates or like more technical things. And I said, I don't know. So they uh, figured it out. And in the next week, they came to me and said, oh, it's done like this and done like that. And I learned a lot about them. Uh, I learned a lot about the structure from them. But that's usually an exception. And not every student is like that. But with supervisors, since they're already volunteers, uh, it's a lot easier to get them interested in uh, these things. So I think I will focus more on uh, engaging with the supervisors, uh, the, name, the following terms, instead of focusing more on the students. And yeah, for mandatory tasks, keeping them simple and uh, making it more formulaic is uh, a lot better than otherwise because there were some very nuanced things in like content translation that we needed to focus on. And when you're teaching it to one person, it's easy to go over them all. But when you're teaching it to 15 people at the same time, you have to go from computer to computer and show all of them the same stuff. And it takes a lot of your time. And uh, something that I... Uh, actually didn't really know well but uh, was very lucky to find out was true was that uh, i trusted the imagination and the capabilities of other supervisors to run classes because in cip the formula sometimes is that you don't necessarily have to know a lot about the subject you just have to know how to run a classroom and how to run a class and how to run a lesson like uh, you watch something together and then you start talking about it and you don't have to have a lot of knowledge about that. Uh, you just have to have the ability to run the conversation. So uh, I was also considering making videos about uh, Wikipedia that uh, were like showing my slides and everything, but I uh, ended up not doing that. But like after I saw the ability of the supervisors, I realized that if I had done that sort of a thing, they would have been able to uh, run with it very easily. So that, that really made me optimistic about uh, the future of the project. And uh, yeah, one thing is that documentation is really difficult, like writing five minutes worth of information that happened in a, one hour of a class is very difficult. Like when I first started, I was like, okay, I do the one hour or two hour classes. I can write the documentation. It won't be that hard but it was really difficult for me to spend time on it. And after some point I gave up on it and uh, didn't really keep documents of all the lessons. Some of them are on meta right now, but not all of them are. And yeah, one more thing is like going slow before going fast, uh, because I had also an international group that I was supervising and uh, it basically failed because uh, I didn't take into account many of the different dynamics that I would have to consider. 
because I was like, oh, I'm doing one of the projects uh, about Turkish Wikipedia and I will do the other one about English Wikipedia and it will be kind of the same. But uh, when it wasn't, it really uh, didn't produce a lot of results, uh, even though the other classes did. So that was something I learned as well. So yeah, uh, I think this the the things I will say here apply to all sorts of uh, equo projects. So I will speak in more general terms. Uh, there are a lot of things that uh, when you do something locally and when you do something in a physical place, like a university campus or let's say uh, uh, the uh, building of an organization, etc that uh, you can really focus a lot on and you know for sure that nobody else is going to focus on it as much as you have. Like translating articles about sustainable development goals is something that everyone could have done, but we ended up doing some of it and I'm sure other people will end up doing the rest. And it's like a general thing that everyone can do. But taking pictures of the plants in the botanical garden at our school is something very specific to us and something that uh, only we would uh, be like uh, willing to do at that extent because other people would focus on where they are. And uh, so, yeah, the, we uh, banked on that a little bit and uh, took pictures of the campus and uh, more specifically the botanical garden. And uh, I think it was really interesting for the students too, because they know right now that with because they know it from the other lessons that whatever ends up on Wikipedia is a lot more likely to be used. Because one of the examples I always gave was like with famous people, they have a lot of really high quality photos. And sometimes they have a photo that is like blurry and not really good, but Google search shows that up first because it has been uploaded on Wikipedia and through uh, like Creative Commons licenses. Uh, so that was something that they learned very quickly. And right now they are sure that like even uh, a few years later, when someone searches that botanical garden on Google or some other place, the pictures that they uh, took will probably be shown there. So that's something that I think motivates a lot of people and also uh, I wrote it as temporality here. Uh, the time changes between like the fall term and the spring term and some other times are really interesting to see, which is in the next slide. So I can show it to you there. So yeah, these are the same plants or the same uh, places in different times. The ones on the left or like the first and the third one are from December and the other ones are uh, from May. So we see in the first picture a uh, plant that doesn't have any flowers on it and is just green, but that same plant uh, was with a lot of red flowers at the end. And uh, we have uh, a lot of these things on the Tosun Terzioğlu uh, commons category. And if we continue this project further, we will have photos from like uh, every month or every type of weather condition, like when it's snowing, when it's raining, etc. Uh, so that's something I'm looking forward to in the long run, like documenting uh, the botanical garden, not as a stati uh, statical place, but as a dynamical place. So yeah, thank you a lot for listening and please contact me through my meta page or like uh, my Telegram page or English Wikipedia page or whatever if you have been inspired by any of these or if you would want to work together in the future, if you would want uh, some translations of the slides that I did, etc. And uh, I hope to uh, come back next year uh, to Wikimania with like... Uh, more projects and more presentations about it and I am open to hearing your questions uh, so thank you all for listening uh, so uh, do you have any questions about, uh, for the presentation of Fege?
Uh, no questions, right? Okay, uh, so I can uh, uh, go to the next uh, thing. Uh, so this is uh, the School of Philosophy Wiki Club uh, in the uh, Athens University. That, the, that uh, thing that I'm uh, heading in the core practices. Uh, it was founded in 2023 in cooperation with a professor in the beginning. Uh, it has five active support members uh, and uh, many supporters. Uh, it is focusing in the School of Philosophy in the National University of Athens, the largest university school in Greece in numbers of uh, in terms of number of students. Uh, the second two of our members uh, uh, headed the, the first outreach event in last November. Uh, the rest of the members uh, joined uh, later because we uh, did an active uh, campaign in the social media of uh, our uh, uh, university and the uh, uh, chats and the groups of. Uh, uh, the students in our university and our school in order to persuade them to uh, join, uh, the, join our ECHO. Uh, we have conducted already outreach in the French uh, language department in cooperation with a professor uh, of French language, which is uh, she also a comedian. Uh, the plans, our plans is also to conduct uh, outreach events in, uh, for students of history, psychology, English language and others. Uh, we are already uh, in the process of planning something in uh, history and English uh, language uh, departments uh, already, and uh, we are aspiring that we will see developments in the next uh, months. We are uh, conducting also online sessions uh, on uh, the uh, on Google Meet uh, in order to facilitate uh, the education of uh, students uh, at Wikimedia uh, in um, online form and uh, to make uh, Wikimedia teaching uh, more convenient uh, for them. For the students uh, were involved in our first activity in November 2023. We are not aspiring uh, uh, to create uh, just people that we will edit Wikipedia and that's all. We want to make people that uh, will conduct outreach, uh, we will uh, participate in the movement uh, in their own uh, school, in their own university, uh, and will be supported by us and the local affiliate uh, on doing uh, uh, their journey on Wikimedia. Uh, that will become people that will become uh, complete Wikimedia will be. Uh, event organizers uh, locally and nationally and internationally and a valuable asset to the community and the movement. This is uh, not only something that I'm uh, espousing, it's also a equo practice, uh, another equo brand, by the way. Uh, our vision is to promote uh, Wikimedia among young students in Greece and uh, becoming a hub uh, for supporting uh, EdWiki activities in Greek universities, to support uh, students and professors who want to do uh, programs uh, for the uh, students in uh, uh, Greece. We also uh, introduced Wikipedia in uh, March uh, for the universities of, uh, for the for the students of the university in uh, uh, Crete as well. We are uh, giving special emphasis in their activities for youth, like editathons, like that we hosted with uh, uh, Notre Dame English uh, uh, Club Wikipedia Education and Research Team about uh, the uh, uh, Independence Days of. Uh, Greece and Bangladesh and related articles because uh, those uh, days are uh, uh, almost uh, the same uh, in Wikidata, uh, allowing the, the translation of uh, hundreds of, of queries uh, in these uh, uh, matters. Uh, and we also stress uh, the importance of uh, Wikimedia uh, and also how Wikimedia can help in their life. We aim to make Wikimedia a standalone method uh, that will be reliable for students to use, uh, for to be used as a teaching tool by universities and as, uh, to be used uh, for projects uh, by the professors, and that uh, improve its reputation with the uh, uh, academic community, uh, so that we generate uh, trust for the Wikimedia thing in uh, our university, and uh, not only to make the professors believe in Wikimedia and collaborate with us, but also doing, uh, uh, but also assigning it as a project uh, to the its uh, people. Uh, we are also trying to make uh, people aware of its importance and, uh, they, and why they should contribute in Wikimedia. Uh, the, our next step is uh, right now to get an official partnership with the authority and conduct many regular trainings on, trainings on the members. So we are in the onboarding phase, in the phase that uh, we are uh, gradually growing so that we are not uh, so that we become completely dependent of any authority uh, I mean, the authority, the administrative authority of uh, our university. We are collaborating with, with however. Uh, 
we are planning to abort more members and uh, conduct uh, many more uh, activities uh, in the coming academic year after uh, uh, October. By the way, uh, we have also a presentation, a uh, small a few slides about the NDC Wikimedia and the research team. Uh, so Rafi and his brother Wasi uh, were uh, to uh, present it. However, uh, because of the situation in Bangladesh, uh, they couldn't uh, uh, join uh, uh, online uh, and uh, present their own uh, brilliant echo uh, uh, on themselves. How, so they trusted uh, me to carry this task on. Uh, it will not be a great uh, a slide. Uh, then this word is an echo based in uh, Notre Dame College in Dhaka, in Bangladesh. Uh, so, uh, uh, in, uh, so in most countries, uh, the students of 11th and the, the second, the 12th grade, uh, will be at the high, it will be high school students in the most countries. In Bangladesh, uh, it's called the college. Uh, it's an equo, not an affiliate, supported by the Notre Dame English Club, one of the extracurricular clubs uh, that uh, the school operates. It's one of the largest uh, schools in Bangladesh, by the way. Uh, the student uh, body is uh, composed of uh, uh, school students. Uh, it has four wings, uh, legal and advocacy, leadership and management, communications, and operational wing. Their directors are changing uh, each uh, year, and this is an example of uh, an equo that has uh, 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 structures that uh, resemble affiliates and even uh, chapters in a way very much. It organizes a bootcamp every year, which uh, is an inspiration for my own equo, and uh, uh, is joined by various, uh, by hundreds of students. Today, uh, the equo alliance uh, continues spreading the movement on. Uh, many universities and doing partnerships with uh, the other records and not only. We hope that we enjoyed, that you enjoyed uh, our presentation and feel free to make any questions or uh, contact me uh, or one of the other partners uh, of us in the Equo Alliance uh, to learn more about the Equo or about our practices or uh, if you want to collaborate with us. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, here, one question. Thank you. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I have two questions. Yeah. One, of I am interested how you, the presenters, uh, found each other, found the connection, how you. Um, found the overlaps. And the second question is, so I am from Wikimedia Polska, Wikimedia Poland, and um, I work for the centralized uh, team, but I would be interested in exploring more of these initiatives yeah. in Poland. And I can see very much the benefit of it being a bottom-up initiative. Yes, it's a bottom-up initiative. But if you have any tips for me um, to try and either find students or any tips, um, okay. so these are my two questions. Okay, uh, I will begin with the first question. Uh, first, we found each other uh, on Telegram. Uh, it was, an, uh, it was an, uh, a remotely organized initiative. You know, many of us, many of the Equal members are uh, pretty active uh, people in Telegram, and you <coughs> probably have heard the... Uh, many of us uh, from the Telegram uh, chats. Uh, so we organized uh, our alliance from there. And uh, by then, everything uh, found its way. We began collaborating even more. Uh, uh, and we began gradually to organize uh, more things together and uh, uh, file common projects uh, together, like uh, those that I uh, presented uh, previously. Uh, can you repeat uh, the second question, please? Um, it's if you have any tips for finding these initiatives or starting these initiatives, if I'm not uh, a student, but I want to find the links at university. Uh, the tips are, uh, at least from our own experience, uh, when, okay, okay, when you are, uh, uh, it depends on its case. If you are a student, you can uh, uh, partner with some students and authority and uh, thus, uh, uh, develop Wikimedia practice together in order uh, to make uh, a strong and coherent uh, equo that will uh, do its own activities together, that will conduct many uh, 
uh, activities in its own way and will become uh, gradually uh, sovereign with the meaning that will be uh, not uh, dependent on the authority. So uh, if you are uh, going, if you're not a, a, a student, you have to uh, collaborate with the students and authority first so that uh, the students uh, bring you the more, more students uh, to, uh, so that the students will uh, 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 spread up the equo and the authority will uh, bring uh, the support with the classes, with the promotion uh, uh, and everything. While uh, if you are, uh, uh, but uh, the students, if you are a student, uh, you have uh, to depend on the students more because uh, these are the students uh, who want uh, to make the equo and, and we have to persuade them to make the equo. Uh, while in, if you are uh, uh, approaching uh, a certain uh, university or department as a representative of Wikimedia, Polska or any other affiliate in the, any case, uh, you have to focus uh, at first also a lot in the uh, in f securing uh, partnership with the uh, authority because uh, it's uh, all the students, uh, whatever you prefer, so that uh, if you, so uh, explaining, uh, so if you prefer to do it with uh, Authority it will allow uh, to bring uh, students and organize something together so that uh, you also bring uh, young Wikimedians and explain them uh, the importance of uh, building equos and uh, doing all this uh, uh, stuff. Uh, if uh, and then uh, after you have collaborated uh, uh, with uh, uh, authority and you have, for example, begun uh, an editing challenge or uh, a contest for the. Students, then uh, it's uh, good to have uh, a certain amount of, uh, for example, a contact person from the affiliate that will uh, facilitate uh, their uh, equo and will direct them uh, in cooperation with uh, the equo alliance uh, on uh, what they should do uh, next and generally to, to uh, facilitate the journey as equo together with the support of uh, the affiliate. Uh, the affiliate support is a crucial part. Uh, uh, in order to create an equo, and uh, because Poland is a strong affiliate, I, th I don't see that uh, I don't see why uh, it's the affiliate they shouldn't uh, support the equo to be done. Thank you very much. Uh, my pleasure. Any other question? Hello, oh, my name is Joan. I am from University One University uh, University of Poland in Warsaw, and you uh, on the presentation I saw that you adapt to the needs of students. Yeah. How do you know about these needs? Uh, we are at first we are young people, so uh, uh, we are knowing what they want and what and because they are vibrant people, they want. Uh, you know, uh, socialization is a key thing that the uh, youth need, especially now after the COVID pandemic and the uh, long-term shutdowns at school. So, socialization is uh, very important. And from the lessons that we have incorporated from the C Youth Group, which uh, you have the opportunity to learn more in today's in Wikimania, uh, we are uh, in order to keep them together. Uh, we do also game nights. So, uh, to, we play games uh, like the games that uh, we use uh, to play. Uh, in your childhood, like uh, board games, like uh, such games, to uh, foster a, a sense of uh, uh, being together, of uh, be building t a team. It's, uh, so be team building is uh, done in a part by this uh, uh, game night. Uh, so the other way is doing a digital So uh, we uh, make the students being dedicated on Wikimedia projects and help them find which uh, Wikimedia uh, part is uh, the thing that they are preferring uh, the most uh, to do. Why, uh, either it is uh, uh, in Wikipedia, either working in Wikidata, Wiktionary, or uh, uploading files. Or uh, also, uh, it's, uh, yes, this is uh, our main practices, and we are also doing this so that uh, we make uh, uh, the club more coherent, uh, more coherent and uh, more uh, stronger through making bigger bonds and make its uh, participation uh, more stable. Also, one other thing that we also should do uh, in ECOS is to do boot camps, which is annual events to recruit uh, new members on the ECO. 
Hey, you're welcome. Emmanuel from uh, Côte d'Ivoire. Uh, just to share a, an experience we, we have. Uh, in, in my country, we developed some uh, Wikipedia club in university and, uh, and school. But uh, in terms of content development, we try to be adapted with the focus of the university. For instance, we have a university uh, more focused on uh, space and the biodiversity. We train the teachers, the professor, and also the students to use uh, Wikispace, for instance. And uh, there, there is a diversity in some uh, university. The club are led with students, by, by students, and the other by, uh, by, by teacher. But in terms of uh, content development, we try to be more focused on the specificity of the, of the university. And to develop this kind of club, it's true that we have to present the association, the movement to the authority and uh, try to get familiar with them, let them know the kind of impact we can have in terms of promoting uh, content and step by step, step by step, because we need also to be patient, step by step, uh, build the, the, the club and also develop the, the, the content. Thank you. Hey, you're welcome. Sam from the Tunisia. Uh, so you are trying to sell, if I may say, this model as a format for university to replicate. So I was asking if you are putting some documentations for the universities who are interested in, interested in developing echoes in their, in their institutions. For example, the governance model of such an, uh, an official organization. Hmm. Uh, how how the curriculum is distributed? Uh, what are the syllabus, for example? Because it is a course, it should have a syllabus. So ha have you developed such a documentation for the project? And if it exists, where exactly? Thank you. Uh, uh, th thank you. Um, so far, we haven't uh, documented uh, uh, this. Uh, we haven't documented uh, very much uh, stuff, but we are planning to document it with, uh, this within the next weeks. We are planning to, uh, especially now with uh, our learnings from the Wikimedia presentation, we are planning to uh, uh, document our practices uh, even more. Uh, however, in, in, the, in an individual level, we are uh, documenting what we are doing and our lessons uh, analytically. Uh, also, regarding universities, it depends uh, the articles that we work uh, depend on the way that we do it. So if it's uh, an equal practice, uh, we are free to do it. If it's organized together with the university, then the professor usually decides what articles uh, will be developed or what uh, thematic will be developed in Wikimedia. And if I could say something as well, uh, I tried to document everything I did on the meta page cip wikipedia project so if you go to meta and uh, search up cip wikipedia project you can see like my syllabus and some ideas and some uh, notes of meetings and all that and uh, i don't necessarily know if it will be helpful in the future like some of them are uh, a little too wordy and too complicated but uh, overall, uh, I have tried to make it like a syllabus like that, but I haven't done it for the digital citizenship course, but I'm planning to in the future. Okay. Thank you again very much uh, for your comment. Any other question? Is there any other question? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much.